Okay, we're in section 114. <coughs> Again, there'll be contents for you to read through. It's a tough section to read through, by the way. There'll be examples for you to try. And then exercises for you to work on to reinforce what you've done in the contents and the examples. My name is Ron Bannon. This is a draft version of my adaption of Webster Wells' Advanced Course in Algebra, circa 1904. This document, at least a PDF version of it, is being made available to the Prison Mathematics Project. Okay, I realize there's other people out there besides the people in the Prison Mathematics Project that may want access to this document. It's not published yet, but when it is published, I'll certainly share that information with you. Please do reach out to me, though, if you're interested. My name is Bannon. My email address is B as in boy, the at symbol, N-N-O-N dot U-S. All right? Now, if you read through this section over here, which I, I, I want to point out some key details over here. Uh, this is a typical treatment in algebra. I notice I got some doohick. I'm going to erase them for you. And what I notice this over here, they, they point out things that you should be paying attention to. And what they point out, if they use the elimination on this system over here, they would find this in the denominator of both x and y, the solution for x and y. So that, that's something that they would look for, and they see that. And then you, you'd, you'd wonder to yourself, if you did a 3x3 three three system, would you see something similar? Well, this is a 3x3 three three system, and yeah, you would see something similar in the division of both, um, the, I'm sorry, the divisor of both x, y, and z. All right, then, then they sort of they can see these things and they see the similarities between these things. They give them names. And the name they gave was determinant. So this guy over here is the determinant of the coefficient matrix. All right, and what's that determinant going to be? A1 times B2 minus A2 times B1. Now, I got to be honest with you. The other one, I don't want to memorize that guy. I need a way to get this guy without, you know, struggling too much and memorizing a formula. This one you need to know, though. You need to know this. You need to know. This is something really important, all right? So what I'm going to do over here is, you know, basically, you know, get through it. It's tough. I'm not saying it's easy to get through. Wells is all big on, like, mnemonics to help you, you know, memorize how do you get those formulas. What I want to do is talk about just, you know, and again, I don't find it helpful, but some people do. Uh, this guy's mnemonic for doing a three by three determinant, all right, for a three by three. And certainly, I mean, if, if you memorize a formula, and I wouldn't memorize that, but something like this. He says this is helpful in doing it, to memorize it. It may be. If it is for you, that's good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do what's called minor expansions. And I'll write this down for you. And the first thing I want to do is I want to look at the 7. I'm going to cross out this column. I'm looking at the 7 and this column. And I definitely see a submatrix now. So I'm going to say it's 7. Whoops, I get my black pen out. It's 7 times the determinant of that submatrix, which is 3 minus 1, 4 minus 2. Now, this is the way I take determinants. All right, I'm going to erase that, and I'll write this down for you. So it's going to be plus, minus, plus. I think I can remember that, right? What's next going to be? Minus 2 times a submatrix determinant. Well, I'm going to do this now. I'm going to cross this column out and this column out and talk about what's left over. What's left over? 0, minus 1, minus 3, minus 2. Now I'm going to start to erase it, and I'm going to do that last column. So plus 1 times a submatrix, all right? I determined a submatrix. I'm sorry. I misspoke there. So let's take a look. I'm going to cross things out. I'm going to cross out the row with the 1 in it and the column with the 1 in it, and you're left with a submatrix over there. What matrix? 0, 3, minus 3, 4. And remember, I said there's one determinant you need to know. I'll put this down again for you. I'll just write it down as A, B, C, D. This is a two by two. It's super simple. It's A, D minus B, C. I think it's going to be pretty easy to do. Let me write this down then. So it's going to be seven. And I'm going to do the product of this, which is minus six, 
minus this guy's product. Well, that guy's product is minus four, so it's gonna be plus four. Minus two, this guy's product, which is really easy, just zero. Minus this guy's product, and that guy's product is three. Plus one, let's do this one over here. This guy's product, which is zero, minus this guy's product. And that's gonna be what? Did I copy that right? Yeah, I think so. That's gonna be uh, minus nine, so minus nine, plus nine. Let's do our arithmetic. This could be seven times minus two, which is minus 14. This one's gonna be plus six, plus nine. And if you do that arithmetic, you're gonna get uh, one. We're matching it. So we were able to compute a determinant there by, by expanding it. And I'm gonna keep that in mind that it's not a bad way to take a determinant. All right? Now, granted, you might say I'd rather do this over here. That's fine. Do it over there. All right? So, they talk about a more general method. I like the best method of all, to be honest with you, is using a computer to do it. Determinants are useful, but computing them can prove mindlessly tedious. It really does. Doing a two by two, or even a three, is manageable, but they're prone to mistakes. So I do recommend learning how to use a computer algebra system to address this, all right? So bottom line, if you wanna look at the code, and this is just a determinant we just did, all right? So what do you have to do now? Let's take a look. Exercise. You gotta practice. So for example, this one over here is a two by two. Practice taking a determinant of a two by two, all right? You should get the same answer I'm getting, by the way. Two by twos are easy. Right, I want to point out the entries over here. That's what I'm saying, two by two. There's two entries here. One, two, and two entries over here. So there's two rows and two columns. All right, keep that in the back of your mind. Now, certainly when these things are written, I want to point out, whoops, sorry about that. The entries are this, 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 and this. Two rows, two columns. Now this is a three by three, I would do it by expansion. If you wanna do the other method, that's fine. You're still gonna get the same answer. We list the answers for you though, all right? Another three by three, we list the answers for you. Another three by three, we list the answers for you. Now this one's a little different, and the reason that there's letters in it, and, and that, that could cause some trouble, but the bottom line, you should be able to get this over here, all right? This is a bunch of letters, you get this over here. Whoops, sorry about that. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, boy. Three by three with a bunch of terms, right? I'm just highlighting what these terms are, right? There's, there's nine of them. It's work. It turns out to be pretty nice in the end, though, all right? So this one says verify by expanding the determinant of this, and this are identical. And someone says, what, what's going on over there? If you, if you looked at it, it almost looks like it's been jumbled. So I can say what, what it looks like, it looks like it's been, you know, sort of like there was an interchange of rows and columns, all right? And again, you're, you're expected to go through that. You're expected to go through this. Hopefully you're, you're learning something and retaining something as you do it. But I, I can be honest with you, it's not easy. All right, not easy. Determinants are pretty tough, all right? Again, if you get to the SAGE code, which I hope you do at some point, what is SAGE, computer algebra system, yeah, it's got built-in matrix operators, uh, determinants, all kinds of stu neat stuff. Um, it's open source software. Go to this website over here, download it, or do the uh, internet uh, interactive web-based application. But look at this stuff over here. It's not bad. You can do it. It's one of the problems we actually just did. All right? Thank you for your attention. This is just a minor introduction to determinants. It's just a minor introduction to it. Thank you.